All right, so this is gonna be a zero to 60 with the seven millimeter spark plug wires that I have. Crash into me, bro. All right, we're good. Zero to sixty. This is like 50% throttle. Yeah, this thing's a boat. So then now we'll see how the MSD spark plug wires do. Now that we're at the house, this is how it is idling after I did about 40 minute round trip. Keep in mind also my cluster, I did have to fix it because obviously on a lot of these Chevy or GM clusters, the odometer goes out or the PRND321 goes out. So I took all the needles off and I don't know if I put them back correctly because some of them are a little bit off, like my trans temp gauge. But this is just to see in comparison how it is with the MSD wires. Also, don't mind that almost empty tank. So I'm gonna go get my hood prop. Cause my hood decides to close on the song whenever it feels like it. Cause I don't want to die. So now I'm gonna try and sell them these bad boys. See how it goes. See if it even makes a difference. Hopefully it does. Cause these are about like 83 bucks. And I mean, that's not that much, but when you broke, it feels like a lot. <laughs> so here's the first one I took off. I just wanted to see how it looked in comparison to the MSD. And yeah, this thing looks way skinnier. Versus this. Here too as well. Hmm. Yeah, main difference is this is really skinny, but these two ends over here look about the same size. Uh, no, the MSD looks a little bit thicker. All right, so I'm gonna go slap these on real quick and then see how it runs. So it took me like maybe five minutes to do this. But yeah, these are pretty bad. I know one of them, this one right here, came off pretty hard and it's even corroded as you can see. And I even pulled off one of them and the other end popped off, so. Now we got the new ones put on. So I actually recently, not recently, last year of December, I rebuilt the top end of this truck. I did the lifters and heads. And uh, yeah, I just threw these back on because I wasn't trying to spend that much money on this engine already or truck in general. But yeah, they look good now. So I'm going to do a quick startup. And also whenever at idle, sometimes this truck would have a hiccup, like it would raise an RPM and then drop. It's still idled smooth, but it would always do that. All right, I don't know if it's like, what's it called, the placebo effect, but this thing sounds and feels way smoother and it's idling really quickly like i just turned this truck on right now i know over there the temperature gauge shows that but we're in texas right now and it's hot as hell that's crazy huh well that actually might have been worth it i immediately noticed a brand new difference so i'm sweating right now well, to be fair, my other wires were all messed up. They were like 
well, you saw them. They're all falling apart, basically, and one of them was corroded pretty bad. So, if you're thinking about doing these, and you need, you're just doing like a an upkeep on the truck. I would definitely recommend them. I would check out Amazon though because I went to Summit. They were 107. Oh, let me go out here. They were 107.4 four tax. Summit. They were 77 dollars. So definitely do your research. I'll also, I'll throw in the clip, we'll do a zero to 60 like I did on the first time around. All right, so we're back to the speedway. So right now I'm gonna do the zero to 60 because I gotta get on the freeway anyway. So we'll see how this rock plug wire is there. That's 50% throttle. This makes a big difference. Well, at least for mine, since mine were really messed up. Oh, yeah, I can feel it running smooth already. Going up to my favorite gas station. I'm gonna go sell my soul real quick to fill up this truck and I'll be right back. I'll be living in a fantasy where everything's a casualty. I can't even fathom me. I swear I'm giving it. Father, forgive me for my sins. I've been through thick and fair And I'm crashing down Throw your skin while I'm flashing now My heartbeat skips a thousand miles I hope that I'll get faith Ten out of ten recommend these, especially if you have like a O three to O seven and a half truck. Because I don't know if those were the OEM wires that came on this truck, or they were just the cheap ones that the previous owner bought. But it does make a smooth difference, especially like in the RPM range. Even going fifty percent throttle on those last ones, I can tell like the truck is running way smoother. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Get these spark plug wires if you are looking to get a set. Don't cheap out on them. Don't get no $30, $40 sets. I feel like these are going to last you the longest and they feel the best. So I'll catch you on the next one. The next one should be me putting the wheels on the OBS, but I'm waiting on those adapters to come in. They should be here Friday, so we'll see. So stay tuned for that one.